Thank you, Craig, my boy. Only Theater is giving us a taste of Harlem back in the 30s with a musical Ain't Misbehaving. You know that show, which runs through August 2. Just been extended, so let me say August something. This show opened 30 years ago on Broadway, and it hasn't stopped yet. It's been, it's been playing everywhere. Nell Carter got a big start there. Uh, this story about Fats Walla, you know, the piano guy. Uh, cast of three men, two women, all making the only debut uh, are Kelly Blackwell and Jacera Glover and Shante Arcarina and uh, Curtis Bannister and Lanento Jones. Uh, these folks are jumping and jiving throughout the show. It's a good show. You like it. You feel good. Uh, call 301-924-3400 for tickets or check the website, aldneytheater.org. And what a delightful collection of nuts and the Keegan Theater's production of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest at the Church Street Theater in the district. As usual, many of Keegan's regulars make up this entertaining cast set in a state hospital in the U.S. Uh, in 1962. As you can understand, uh, the movies with uh, Nurse uh, Ratchet, played by Sherry Heron, who runs the place with a stern hand. Uh, Heron does a usual fine job, and in this case, riding herd, if not quite uh, sadistically, over the mental misfits. Uh, Keegan's artistic director, Mark Ray, plays quite a sane troublemaker named McMurphy. Um, oh, there's a bunch of people. There's an Indian chief, Kevin Adams. There's uh, Cheswick, David Jordan. There's Billy. Uh, it's a good, nice, big cast. And uh, Ray's Murphy is a catalyst here trying to get these meek people uh, to look Talk up, and uh, anyway, it's, it's pretty good. Also, there's a double bill. Like, if he goes there some night, you can actually stay at 11 o'clock and see the second, second show called Arrestia. Uh, for tickets, call 703-892-0202 or check the web, KeeganTheater.com. By the way, uh, director Susan Marie Ray does a good job of keeping her in these nuts. Uh, uh, Second City, that's a well-known satirical company from Chicago. You've heard about them. Um, Mike Nichols, Elaine May, and others came out of there from Chicago and launched many people for f over the last 50 years. Now it's at the Woolly Mammoth Theater downtown uh, uh, doing a show lampooning the president and others called Barack Stars. Uh, it seems only natural that Woolly's artistic director, Howard Shelwitz, would bring them on at this time. Uh, they do Rush Limbaugh and Coulter, Ron Emanuel, and others. The talented cast... Uh, there's a whole bunch of them there. Uh, there's a, they, they do skits, but they're not mean-spirited. Uh, Baraka Stars plays through August 2 at Willie Mammoth, 7th Street and D. Call 202-393-3939. Tickets, uh, check WillieMammoth.net. Uh, there's a show, part of the Capitol Fringe, which has been going on for a week and a half now. It's going to end this weekend. And one of the best bets is Herbie, colon, poet of the Wild West. And my friend... Uh, Ken McGee and I went down there last week, and uh, we saw the show. He says he likes it. If he likes it, I liked it. And uh, it, what it is, basically, if, if it's like Hamlet with spurs, if you got what I mean. Uh, it's, it's a stretch to say even use Hamlet in this, but it's pretty good. And a, and a miss, and she doesn't mention this to anybody, a Miss Merlin, 1992, and I know the kid. Tammy Roberts is in this, too, and she's cute, and that's heck, what else you need to know. The... Uh, the uh, they have two shows, Friday at 5.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2 o'clock at the Warehouse Main Stage, and that's at 1021 7th Street. The phone number, 866-811. It's on the screen, 411111111. And it's uh, capitalfringe.org. Uh, you want to get a laugh? If you don't like it, don't bother me. Talk to Ken. Okay, here's some place to eat. Uh, Union Jack's British Pub is, pu is pub dining at its best. It's swiftly made a name for itself in D.C. area, and now it's located also in Bethesda by General Manager Leanne Smith. Uh, Leanne was the assistant GM at the Boston place, uh, and now out there in Bethesda. Union Jack definitely has the British pub atmosphere, friendly noise, and patrons who are obviously enjoying themselves. What surprised me was the food. It's really good. Uh, most of the dishes have British names and are divided into... Sections such as Jack Burgers featuring the Paul, the George, the Ringo, and the John. Some of the sandwiches are called the Tony Blair, Austin Powers, and Maggie Thatcher, and so on. The pizza menu has uh, Miss Money Penny. I had that. Uh, there's the Hugh Grant, the Joan Collins, and, you know, they give these kind of names. The main entrees include Drunken Chicken, the Big Ben, London Tower, and, well, you get the idea, right? Uh, everything I had was pretty tasty, well-prepared, eye-appealing, and made with fresh ingredients, I can tell you that. They also have an extensive uh, selection of British, Irish, and American beers on tap and in the bottle, 
as well as a full bar. Union Jack's is a fun dining experience and pretty reasonably priced, too. Great service, that I can tell you. Union Jack in Bethesda is located at 4915 St. Elmo Avenue. It's off Woodmont. It's easy to find, and there's a public parking garage just a few steps away. For more info, I advise you to do it. It's called 301-6-JACK-61. You see it on the screen. And check their website, unionjacksbethesda.com. Hey, this is a fine, this place. Worth going out to Bethesda. I liked it. Thank you. Rich Mustafa. All right, thanks, Rich. I think they got a thanks, place in, down in Boston. Too. Yeah, yeah, but they got this, a place in Boston. I go to this one now, but they got two bars and lots of TVs and uh, yeah, pool yeah, tables. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I was the oldest person there. It's a fun, it's a fun spot. All right, right anyway. I thanks, liked Rich. It. I like it.